Hey Faze, welcome back to my channel. What's up y'all? I told y'all I was gonna be consistent and I plan on doing so, period. Anyway, today's video is going to be cooking with me. I just came back from Aldi and um, Walmart because I need to go to the grocery store. Today's meal will be Mexican style chicken with fajitas and broccoli. And then I'm gonna also make salmon and this like little sauce or whatever and broccoli for my sister and i'm doing like a meal prep as well because i've been working out i've been trying to eat a little bit better like y'all know i eat pasta i eat soul food i eat fried chicken i'm really trying to do better because no ma'am and <laughs> yeah because bitch i wish i would get fat anyway um yeah so I just wanted to do this intro real quick. I'm going to let y'all see me prep this food, cook it, everything. I'm going to give the recipe, all that. This is not my like highly requested recipe. My highly requested recipe is my baked spaghetti, my macaroni and cheese, and my Cajun chicken um, shrimp and pop. Cajun chicken shrimp pasta. Anyway, um, y'all know if you if you follow me on Instagram, you've seen these these items like up and down my Instagram. So. If y'all like this video, I will do more cooking videos because I really do like to cook. So yeah, let's just get right into it. I'm about to unpack these groceries and then I'm gonna get back with y'all when I start prepping the food. Bye. Hey Faves, I'm back. So I've already prepped my um my onions and peppers. Um I have a green pepper and I have a red pepper. I also have some leftovers, but I normally don't use the orange and um yellow one unless I am making my pasta. But for the fajitas, I'm just using green pepper and red pepper. Um I'm about to sit y'all up here and I'm gonna take this bowl and I'm going to season my peppers and get to sit those to the side. And then I'm going to clean my meat, which is my chicken, because right now this is for the um, the Mexican style chicken. Clean um, the chicken, put the chicken on, then last I'm gonna put my peppers and onions on. So I'm gonna allow y'all to watch me do that. Um, I'm gonna set y'all up in a way that y'all can see. Cut up more onions, but I really don't care for the onions. I just use them for um, the flavor. My mom likes onions, so. So I'm just tossing this together, getting them evenly distributed. See how pretty that looks? Oh, see how pretty that looks? Okay. I feel like the lighting in here is poor. That should be better. So for the seasoning I'm using, I'm using onion powder, garlic powder, um, chili powder, pepper, and I'm going to use sea salt. And I probably will throw in some seasoning salt, but I like to keep my seasonings um, simple. And I got my seasonings from Aldi. I normally would get them from Walmart, but I was at Aldi first. And I just, this is onion powder. And I'm not gonna lie, I kinda go heavy because I really want my, um, flavor to get in there 
and since I'm going to essentially not I can't obviously I can't roast them but because they're not roast you know, I don't they're not on the grill but I will be sauteing them and allowing them to brown this is garlic powder Slowly, so we already in too deep. Can't get no sleep on each other. Heavy. This is how much season that I did because you can't, don't forget, um, you're gonna be seasoning your chicken. You want your, um, Seasoning to be fairly, you know, heavy, but not too heavy because like I said, your chicken will be seasoned as well. And you just kind of want to, you don't want to have bland, you know, veggies. Cause you can, but I go light, a little lighter on the seasoned salt because you can always add more salt once your dish is done. But you know, like adding too much salt beforehand. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Okay. Trying to make sure everything is evenly coated. Get that from the bottom. And there you go. They're they're coated very nicely. And it smells so good. Let me show y'all. So it's coated nicely. It's not overly coated, but everything obviously has seasoning on there for the sake of having flavor for our veggies. So, I am going to come back after I have cleaned the, okay, I'ma just hold it. I'ma come back after I clean the kitchen or clean the chicken and then that's when I will, I will be seasoning the chicken with the same things with the exception of um, sea salt. I'm gonna just go ahead and do seasoning salt. Um, yeah. Also, I'll, I'll go heavier on the chili powder for the chicken. But when I come back, that's when I'll start talking to y'all, giving y'all some tips. And you know, since I already told y'all the seasonings, I don't really have to go over that. So yeah, I'll be back. I'm gonna season my chicken with the same seasonings that I did with the peppers. And um, I've already cut up my broccoli, my fresh broccoli, I cut that up already. And so the first thing I wanted to just say was like, one thing that I would definitely tell myself two years, like two years ago, let people go. Like if someone wants to walk out your life, like let them. I don't know if you're religious or if you're spiritual at all, but I am. And honestly, the more you force things to work in your favor or try to have the outcome that you want to have, that's when life gets harder you know and i realized that now and looking back and it's like dang it's so much stuff that i could have let go or let people go let situations go let opportunities go that aren't for you and you will feel a lot lighter and on top of that like i realized the more i started accepting things for what they were and for what they are oh that that pepper might make me sneeze But um, the more I started letting things be what it was, I realized like my life was easier and I was happier and I wasn't struggling to figure out things. And you know, like if you know what I'm talking about, comment, comment down below and let me know. 
I'm looking for some tongs, so. I know I got some tongs, but I mean, I don't like touching it with my hands unless I'm having to clean it. But anyway, um, yeah, so that was, that's one thing I will say. Allow things to be what they are and stop forcing the outcome that you want, because a lot of times you're getting of the getting in the way of God's plan. You're getting in the way of what the universe and what is supposed to happen and what you're supposed to be doing, like the more you're struggling and fighting to to keep something that's not yours the more off track you're going to be you know what i mean and honestly when i realized that and that started clicking in my head i'm gonna have to use this because i'm not touching this um when i realized that and that started clicking in my head Oh, don't forget to pat in your um, seasoning before you flip it over so it can stick to the chicken. Um, once I came to terms with that and I allowed that to be my way of life, basically, I promise you, stuff started happening in my favor without me forcing it. So that's the first thing. And again, I'm seasoning this chicken on both sides with the same seasonings that I did with the um, peppers. Right now, I have my water on boil for my... I don't have a steamer, so I'm, I'm going to put this bowl over some boiling hot water with the lid over it. Um, as you can see, that pot back there um, with the lid over it. And that, that way, I'm going to steam my um, chicken, I mean my uh, broccoli. So yeah, that's the first thing that i did or i will tell you the second thing is which i talk about this all the time um in like past videos and stuff like that but i truly think that it's important um it's okay to like be lost sometimes it's okay to not know your next move and stuff i feel like a lot of times um a lot of times you can get stuck in the process or get stuck in what people other people are doing that is that you're taking away from yourself and you're taking away from your process and i definitely um did that a lot like in college you know the comparison and you know stuff like that so i've already talked about that in past videos but just to reiterate you know that's something that i really live by now like allow yourself to be where you are is exactly where you're supposed to be. So just allow yourself to go through that process. You know, your process isn't the same as someone else. The third thing I would say that I would wish that I would have told myself or somebody would have told me, well, I'm sure somebody did at this point. But, um, and I just didn't listen. Me personally, I just feel like you can't truly be in a, I'm about to sneeze, hold on. bless me that pepper is getting to my nose <clears throat> and this is seasoning salt and <coughs> oh y'all know when y'all season y'all food and it just gets so you know um i truly believe that it is unnecessary to be in a relationship in college especially um especially if you don't know who you are you can't truly make someone else happy if you're not happy and that was something that i didn't realize until i got out of a relationship i wasn't able to i was too codependent on my partner because <coughs> i'm sorry y'all this seasoning is choking me literally but um i was too codependent um, on his schedule, on, you know, things that he needed, the person that he wanted to become. I was too codependent and I lost my check of myself and things that I wanted. Like my identity became his girlfriend, you know? And I feel like that's because I wasn't happy. I didn't know who I was. I didn't know what I wanted. So I'm definitely here to say Especially my people that's going into high are going into college, leaving high school. Y'all, I promise you, I'm not saying you don't get a boyfriend or girlfriend. I'm not saying that. All I'm saying is 
just be mindful okay because truthfully um if you're not happy you can't make someone else happy and it takes away from your college experience like i really feel like my college experience could have been better had i not been in a relationship and i'm not taking away from that person but i'm just saying my relationship consumes so much of me and that goes into my next tip like or my next little gym don't take stuff so serious like when you're about to go inside of college like of course life is serious but you're still in this like gated community of life you know what i mean like you haven't really hit real life yet you're still living and you're growing up but you're not in the real world you know what i mean so i just feel like i just feel like don't take stuff so serious don't take your relationship so serious if you know in the back of your head like i don't even see my person see myself marrying this person like i'm not about the trip i'm not about the stress and i know it's easier said than done but when you adopt that like mental I promise you it's just so much easier to live like and this is coming from a person who took their relationship entirely too serious and I got caught up in that and wrapped up into just a whole bunch of nothing okay I'm talking about you ain't paying my bills you ain't doing nothing for me that I ain't doing for myself you don't even go to my school like you know it's just a whole lot of unnecessary stuff but I will say I don't regret that being in a relationship because honestly i know what not to do and that doesn't just mean relationship wise it just means literally like in with people I, I will never allow a person to treat me the way they did or i will never allow a person to take me away from who i am and not saying that they did it purposely but you know what i mean just like being so wrapped up and caught up like because i'm big on i'm not gonna speak bad on nobody's name but no, I'm just playing. I'm not going to be no bad on nobody's name because at the end of the day, whatever. But just don't take stuff so serious. Let stuff go. If it ain't meant to be, it won't be. So don't force it. Anyway, um, I have seasoned my chicken. I'm about to show y'all what it looks like. Um, Here's my chicken. It looks a lot better brighter on camera than what it actually is but anyway um yeah so here's my chicken that i have seasoned with the following um not and then seasoning salt okay here's my broccoli that i've cut up and rinsed off and stuff and then i have um my boiling hot water so as you can see, i'm about to go ahead and put the boiling hot water on Oh shit, I need two hands, hold on. You know what? Let me not play with myself. Let me go ahead and put some mittens on. Cause I'll be damned. Oh shit. Okay, ha. there we go. And then you just put the lid on and allow it to steam. So since those are fresh broccoli and not frozen broccoli, it, it will take a little bit longer and that's okay because you're about to put your chicken on. Then you're going to prep your salmon for the salmon bites and sauce that we're gonna make. Um, and then I will come back once I'm done prepping the salmon, I will show y'all the chicken. Or actually, you know what? While I got y'all, let me go ahead and show y'all what I will be doing for the chicken. So I have this cast iron, is that what it's called? Cast iron um, grill like pan. And I'm going to take, um, where is the olive oil at? Uh-uh. I'm going to take some olive oil. <sighs> if you don't have olive oil, you can use whatever you want to use. Um, what the heck? Evidently, I don't have any olive oil, but I do have avocado oil. And I'm just going to use a little bit of that. In the event that you would rather not use obviously you probably gonna have some other kind of oil but i don't have none like what what's really going on 
Oh, you know what? I'm gonna use Pam. Cause truth be told, I don't really know if avocado oil got a taste and I don't want to chance that and mess up my chicken. I don't think it has a taste actually. Whatever, I'm gonna either use one of them, but I'm gonna turn my heat on medium because I want my chicken to cook kind of slowly because I want it to cook on both sides without it. Um, I want it to be brown on the outside, but done on the inside. Okay, I don't know about you, but I like my chicken the done done. Okay, because I refuse to get salmonella. So I also like to put butter in the pan. I like butter and oil at the same time. If you use just butter, um, that would be perfect for like a little sauce to put on your chicken afterwards um but yeah so i'm gonna allow that to get going and then i will come back let y'all see what it looks like because i'm about to prep my salmon and yeah i'm gonna peek on this broccoli this is what it's looking like isn't that so cool my sister taught me that so shout out to you all right i'll be back y'all Y'all, I got sidetracked. I couldn't even finish vlogging because my nephew came in. I'm just, I'm tired. But this is what I made. I made um, some chicken and um, broccoli and um, what are them? Peppers. So, <laughs> hey, I was making for my sister the salmon. But I didn't get to record it because she ate it so fast. That must have been it was good. No, actually, I forgot to take a picture. But let me show y'all my chicken. I had to meal prep these fairly quickly, so the presentation isn't the best, but let's try it. Is that a quick little blessing? I need to warm it up. But yeah. I'll be back. Ruffin and the, and the twins <laughs> are the temptations. Ain't nobody coming to see you, Otis. You wit. Oops. <laughs> and what you're witnessing is a lot of fucking up my skin <laughs> <laughs> at this point. <laughs> <laughs> No, they didn't have any um, regular pineapple juice. Yes, no one knows my That's a good consistency. Mm -hmm. Do I have to take this lid off? Uh, you could act the lid This is my breakfast. Um, I made another smoothie. This time I added pineapple juice and almond milk, the vanilla kind. And just I have two fried hard eggs and then two pieces of um, turkey bacon. So I'm just keeping it light. Baby, don't stop. Got the key to the lock. We in our own zone. Make yourself at home. Get to know mine on the inside. Can me to join next
y'all so i finished cutting up my peppers and onions noodles are done they're kind of dry because <laughs> i already they've been sitting there for a little while your broccoli should be looking like that doesn't that look so pretty and now we're going to start making the sauce so you need parmesan of course seasoning salt garlic powder onion powder um cayenne powder parsley black pepper oh parsley black pepper there you go and voila we about oh and whipping cream heavy whipping cream you can you probably use like two of them Oh, and minced garlic. That's enough. Minced garlic and butter. Okay, I'm about to get this organized and then I'll get back with y'all when I'm starting to add everything in. Okay. So you got just enough butter in there for you to put all your veggies in there without them sticking. Hold on. Add your minced garlic. Don't forget, like me, I just did about this much. Okay, y'all, I have added in my whipping um, cream, two and a half of them, of the small ones. I let the um, the peppers and onions um, cook down until they were translucent. And then now I just have the whipping cream in there. The broccoli is still cooking. And now we're about to make our sauce. So... We have the Parmesan and Romano cheese, and we're just going to toss that in. Typically, say if this was half full, if this was half full, I mean, if this was um, full, I typically use about half of it, but I'm to the point where now I can just eyeball it. And so as you're adding in your cheese, you want to just stir that in. Keep adding in your cheese.
can meet at your next time And you Okay, now that our sauce is done, go ahead and add your noodles. Your place is my place now. My place is your place. Let's face it. Baby, you know all the places. Places. My place. Mix that together. Your broccoli. I'm going to add some parsley. on top cook on back up Cody 425 for about 20 minutes or until golden brown on top and then I like to do like one little layer Kind of mix that cheese in a little bit. You see, mix it in just a little, and then I like to just cover the top. Get all that cheese. This is what it should look like before you put it inside the oven, okay? Four. And a little bit of blackened on top. Just a little, not a lot. Just for that color. 